All right, we're going to look at a Soto Gaishi, a very practical way of doing a Soto Gaishi, which is a Soto Gari counter. The uh, best way to counter a Soto Gari is with a Soto Gari, and uh, that's a Soto Gaishi. Love having someone throwing a lazy leg or just a, a long leg out here. You know, he, he's probing, he's doing something, but we just may have a really sloppy attack at Osotogari. Okay? So, in that case, if he does that, if he has a really sloppy attack, you know, he's hooked. Close your arms in, close them down. Don't try to pull them, just close them in and step back. As you step back, look down at the mat. So, I'm going to toss them. Like that. It's movement that throws them. Okay? Now when you put a hooking action into it, it slams it. You might even just catch the one leg for an Osotogari. You might catch both of them like an Osotogaruma. Comes in. There's some, really some keys to pulling this off. And one of them is anticipating this leg coming. Okay? And uh, uh, like Steve just said, you know, if they're they're trying to feel it out, or they're actually trying to throw you, or they're do they're throwing that leg up there. Well, if they do it once, guess what? They're going to do it again. So if you see him, you know, you're, when when you're doing under order when you're competing, if you see him get that leg up there, then you can anticipate they're going to do it again. All right? We're creatures of habit. So if he throws it up there once, he's going to throw it up there again. So. Now I'm going to be really thinking about looking for that. And I'm going to see it as soon as he starts to move that way. And that's when I'm going to start stepping. And I, and I say step around instead of stepping back. If I say stepping back, you, you get in the habit of stepping back. I step around so that I can turn his body. And I got to step around when I see this starting to come because if I let him hook, now he's set, I can still step around and pull this off, but he's set, and it's a lot harder. If I catch him when right here, he's on one leg, he's on one foot, and man, his balance is broken really easily. I mean, you can just, it's a lot easier to break somebody's balance when they're standing on one leg than when they've got this other one down, or they've got it hooked, or they got both legs in, in the game. So, if he's throwing that leg up there, I'm going to catch that as soon as I see it coming and I'm going to anticipate it. Right? That's the first thing. Then, when it comes, I don't even have to do anything. If you catch it when he's on one leg, it's simple. And it's a huge throw because when you reap that leg, he's already fallen. Well, with the arms, I do almost exactly the same thing as I do with the Osotogari. This one goes down in the pocket, down in his hip pocket. This one, I always say where the head goes, the body goes. So I'll use this hand, my steering hand, to turn his head this way. Okay? So it comes in. We turn it as we see it. Okay? If we... And that's what I mean, anticipating it. You know, that's really a key to pulling this throw off. Is if one, like Steve said, once he gets it hooked in there, then it's who's bigger, who's stronger. Okay, who's going to win? Well, the bigger guy, the stronger guy is usually going to win this one, right? So I can't stand my ground. I've got to get that step, and we always lose our, we leave our hands out. And the key is breaking his balance and being able to turn him with my arms, with my hands, both hands. I can't do it with one, I gotta do it with two, and catch it when he comes. I can't even turn when he's on one leg without him falling. He has to fall. Then when you throw your reap in, it's a big throw. Okay? 
Good.